and yoga welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time visiting then welcome thank you so much for being here today today i'm here to take you through a yoga video on how to get labor started so if you've clicked on this video i know it means you're at the very end of your pregnancy and you really really want to get things going you are absolutely in the right place little disclaimer whilst this video is intended to help you get labor started and i promise we will be doing all the things that really do help your body prepare for a natural labor please remember that this might not happen for you instantly and if it doesn't happen for you today please don't get disheartened your baby will come when your baby's ready and i promise you have not got long left if you've clicked on this video today you don't have much more time until you will have your little brand new baby in your arms. All right, give this video a quick thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know how many weeks you are today. Maybe you're overdue. Maybe you're just coming up to your due date. And let's get started. All right, guys, let's get this video started down on all fours. So when you're ready, come on down. However you'd like to, however feels right for you. And just get yourself comfortable here. Uh, you've probably got a great big baby bump now, so making sure you've allowed plenty of space, so knees as wide as you need. And just looking down between your two thumbs, starting with a long flat back here, and we're just going to start to circle the body, so just drawing the body all the way forwards and all the way backwards, all the way forwards and all the way backwards. So obviously our aim today is to hopefully get labour started for you. Let's start to go the other way now. So what we're doing here, we are gently opening through our hips. We're also, every time we push back, we're just gently getting baby's head to tap on the top of the cervix, assuming baby is, of course, in the head down position. We're just allowing the baby's head to drop down apply some gentle pressure to the cervix to hopefully get things going for you so moving one way and then the other way and just moving now whenever it feels right for you so changing up the direction as much as you need moving as slowly as you feel you need to here and then instead of drawing circles we're just going to start to take that into the wiggle from side to side and then a circling of our hips. So just your hips now, drawing a great big circle and going the other way. And all the time that you're doing this, really important, I want you to focus on your breath. So you could be doing some practice labour breathing. So you take a nice deep breath in and blow air out of the mouth. And again, inhale. Blow the air away. So you could be doing that, or you can just be breathing in and out, nice deep breaths through the nose. So inhale. And exhale. Oh, whilst you're drawing these lovely circles with the hips. Just making sure everything down there is feeling nice and relaxed. All right, from there, let's just bring our hands to the side so we can gently walk this right foot through. If you've got any blocks or big cushions or something to lean yourself up on, that would be great because obviously we're not doing labour, we're not doing labour, we're not doing yoga to have a really great yoga practice. We're doing yoga to hopefully get labour started. So anything you can use to make this practice easier for yourself, make sure you take those options. So we're just gonna slightly turn the right toes out to the side of the room. So the hips are nice and boxy, but this, is, this front leg is just slightly angled and you're just gonna really gently rock forwards and back. Again, let's just think about baby's head, applying some gentle pressure to the cervix. Visualise baby dropping down into the pelvis, ready for birth. And just nice deep breaths here, nice slow movements, nothing jerky, nothing quick. Being really gentle with our pregnant bodies today. A couple more deep breaths. 
in and out. Oops. And then when you're ready, just turning the toes forwards, bringing your hands down to the mat so you can step it back. We're going to take knees nice and wide, toes together, start to melt the body on down over the heels, extend the arms in front of you and just allow your body to melt towards the ground. Now, if you're worried that your bum is going to be squished against the ground, make sure you prop yourself up so you're going to grab a really great big cushion or bolster, place it right here under the chest and that will just give you that height to make sure your bump is nice and protected. All right, melt on down, reaching the arms forwards and just really sink yourself back over your feet. Let yourself relax. Take a nice deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. And just staying here. I won't need the breath, but just staying here with your breath. Just allowing the breath to move freely through you for a moment more. One of the most important things that we can do for ourselves to get labour started is to relax. Maybe that's something you've already heard about. It's so crucial if we tell our bodies we are ready, if we give ourselves that permission to slow down, to stop and to rest, that's when our bodies feel safe. That's when our bodies know it's time and we can let go and we can bring our babies into the world. So if you've not taken that time yet to relax, and I mean really relax and let go, then labour is not coming for you anytime soon. Staying nice and relaxed now. We're going to repeat that on the other side. So come on up, walking hands to the right. So you can draw that left foot through. So taking the toes slightly out, angled out, grab your block or cushion to lift yourself higher. And when you're ready, begin to gently rock forwards and back. And again, just remember those tiny controlled movements. Nothing jerky, nothing fast. And now hopefully you're feeling a little bit more relaxed as we move through this, this gentle stretch. So just staying with your breath, the inhale and the exhale. And just focusing on letting go. You can even tell your baby in your mind, communicate baby in your mind or out loud. I'm ready, you can come out now. Hey baby, I am ready when you are. Remember, it is, it is down to our babies when they decide to come on out. So please don't be disheartened if this doesn't work for you today. This is all going to be wonderful prep. You're really helping your body get ready for a natural labour. If it doesn't happen for you today, if you don't immediately go into labour, please don't get disheartened. It is going to happen. It will happen to you very, very soon. Your baby might just be holding on for a reason that, that you don't know. But I promise you, it won't be much longer now. All right, we're going to stop our rocking, turn the toes back through and step back to all fours and we're going to come back to our circles so drawing the body all the way forwards all the way backwards forwards and backwards forwards and backwards other way forwards and backwards as slowly as you need to forwards and backwards and one last circle all right, we're 
just going to make our way to standing just for one posture. If you're not up for standing postures today, you can just skip through this bit. So we're going to step forwards as wide legs as you need, bending into your knees and using those thighs because I know how hard it is to stand back up when you're pregnant. Coming up nice and slowly. Once you're there, just stepping your feet nice and wide. I want you to point your toes towards the corners of your mat. You're going to take a nice big bend into the knees. In fact, it doesn't have to be a big bend. You could have these feet really close together and just take a small bend. It's going to work for you the same. Just work to your body's limits today. You are the one that's heavily pregnant. You know how your body feels and how small you want to have those feet or how wide you want to have those feet. So any pelvic discomfort, feet much closer together and a much smaller bend. Not so much pelvic discomfort, still be careful, but feet can be wider and we can take a bigger bend. So when you're ready, come on down, bending into the knees, however feels right for you. Spine nice and long, visualizing baby's head dropping down into the pelvis getting things started for you, hands to your heart space, and we'll take a nice deep breath in, inhale, straighten the legs, reach up nice and high, exhale, melt, come on down, and again, inhale, we reach, exhale, come on down, and again, inhale, we reach, remember this bend could be tiny, inhale, come on down, one last time, reaching up high and come on down. That's it. Well done, everybody. Come on out of that and make your way down to seated, however feels right for you. So just taking your time, coming to cross-legged and we're going to start to mobilise through the spine and the side of the body. So just drawing nice big circles. This will just help us to relieve any tension through the back of the body if we're holding on to any. It's a really great way to loosen up through the back of the body. And the other way. Nice deep breaths in and out. And last circle, everyone. Well done. Awesome, and you can just finish with a little wiggle from side to side. We're going to sweep our right arm all the way up and over, nice big side bend. So we're just creating some space for baby in the side of our bum. Can be much higher if you need it to be. Breathing in, sit bones sinking down, any tension melting away. And release, let's go the other way. Our left arm sweeping, reaching all the way up and over, melting down, relaxing the shoulders, softening through the face. As we take deep breaths in and out. And in and out. One more time, inhale, exhale, we release. And we're gonna just shift these feet, bringing the soles together, knees nice and wide, Baddha Konasana, it's a really, really great posture to help us prepare the body for labor. It's opening through our hips, inner thighs, groin. It's encouraging baby down into that birthing position. So let's just hold it here nice and relaxed. Breathing in, exhale through the mouth, nice and slowly, and again, inhale, exhale, and again, inhale, and exhale. And just opening up the eyes, bringing those knees in so you can come back to cross-legged or any comfortable position that suits you. And let's just finish with eyes closed, bringing one hand onto your baby bump, one hand onto your heart space. 
And we'll just go back to the breath, taking nice deep breaths in and out. Reminding ourselves that the most important thing that we can do in this moment is to relax, is to really slow down and give ourselves permission to let go. So let's begin to say this affirmation to ourselves in your mind or out loud, depending on who's in your space with you today. So take a nice deep breath in and on the exhale, repeat these words. I can let go now. 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 And you can stay here for as long as you need. And I'm going to leave you here. So when you're ready, coming out nice and slowly, make sure you take the time to stand back up today. Don't rush. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And there we go. Thank you so much for joining me for today's yoga video on how to get labor started. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are feeling empowered about what you can now do to help your body get this labor started. If you did enjoy this video today, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment, come and say hi. Let me know how you got on with this flow today. And best of luck to you. Please do check out all my other birth preparation videos. I've got tons of postnatal content to completely cover you when you've had your baby and I've got videos that you can get started on right away. Little pro tip if you are still tuned in, the first thing you want to start working on after you've had your baby, however you would give birth, is your pelvic floor and I've got plenty of stuff on that on my channel already. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave. Bye!